Good evening, I'm Mark Gordon. Here's the latest news update. Ukraine has announced that it successfully repelled a Russian armored attack in the northeastern Kharkov region. This comes after Moscow's forces attempted an incursion, crossed the border, and sought to breach defensive lines. Kharkov regional head Olesiny Hubov confirmed that Russian reconnaissance groups attempted to penetrate the border, but emphasized that not a single meter has been lost. President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that Russia had initiated a new wave of counter-offensive operations in the Kharkov sector. Ukrainian commanders had anticipated a summer offensive, possibly targeting the regional capital of Kharkov, but officials remain confident that Russia lacks the resources for such an endeavor. The head of Ukraine's Center for Countering Disinformation, Andriy Kovalenko, affirmed that while Russia could escalate tensions in border areas, it lacked the capability to seize Ukraine's second city. The attack began with heavy bombing of the town of Vovchansk, followed by small incursions across the border by Russian scouting groups. Vovchansk, located 75 kilometers 45 miles northeast of Kharkov, came under heavy attack, resulting in civilian evacuations and casualties. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry reported that attempts by the enemy to breach defensive lines were repelled. President Zelensky confirmed engagement with Russian troops, brigades, and artillery, indicating ongoing intense fighting. Civilians are being evacuated from the Vovchansk district as reserve troops are mobilized. Meanwhile, Moscow continues to advance in the eastern Donetsk region, taking advantage of delays in the arrival of American ammunition and weaponry. The return of heavy fighting in the northeast underscores Russia's growing confidence and ambitions. Ukraine Ukrainian military intelligence predicts an assault on both Kharkov and the northern region of Sumy. Elt. General Alexander Pavlyuk reiterated the warning, highlighting the gathering of tens of thousands of Russian forces along the border. Observers draw parallels to 2022, when Russia's attempts to capture Kharkov and Sumy during its full-scale invasion were unsuccessful. Despite occupying the border town of Vovchansk for several months, Russian forces were eventually ousted in September 2022. Officials and generals express confidence that neither of the regional capitals is likely to fall. Even with the larger and better trained force previously, Russia failed to conquer these cities. Ukrainian sources estimate significant casualties among Russia's original 15000 strong army. Military commentator Alexander Kovalenko underscores the immense challenge of capturing big cities like Sumy and Kharkov, noting that Russia required 80,000 troops to capture the smaller eastern city of Avdiivka last February. Additionally, Russia aims to establish a buffer zone between its Belgorod region and Ukraine due to ongoing Ukrainian artillery strikes on Russian territory, causing unease among some Western allies. Despite Russia's intentions, officials and military analysts remain skeptical of the likelihood of regional capitals falling. Historical precedent and current military estimates suggest significant challenges for Russia in capturing these cities. Furthermore, Russia's objective of creating a buffer zone between its Belgorod region and Ukraine reflects ongoing tensions along the border. That's the latest update on the situation in Ukraine. Stay tuned for further developments.